Thanks for staying with us. When the Ministry of Health rolled out a new type of antiretroviral pill that reportedly had milder side effects compared to its predecessor in 2017, it was expected that the general viral load among HIV patients would go down. However, though the rate of infection has gone down by half, adolescents still form the bulk of new infections with their ARV adherence rate posing a great danger. Laura Otieno sought to find out why this demographic still seems to bear the most burden, even with the stigma around HIV almost fully demystified. At Kisumu Smanyata Estate, 26-year-old Clarice Tina is making her rounds to her peers. So I realized I was HIV positive in 2005. That's after my parents died long ago. Of course, they didn't tell me that I was HIV positive. In 2016, when I was joining college, I actually started having um, herpes zoster. Those are the imp opportunistic infections. Mm -hmm. I started having skin rashes. Now the real AIDS started showing. According to the National AIDS and STI Control Program, the youth aged between 15 and 24 form the bulk of new infections, reporting 17,700 cases of the 52,800. Though the Numbers show a steady decline by 30% in the last two years. HIV-related deaths are still lacking among this age group. We meet Anne, not her real name. She almost lost her life after realizing that she had been infected with HIV by her late husband. In fact, Angekuwa, sijui kama tungele wana. Lakini by now, I will have to accept. E, lakini chenye amenifanyia, si mzuri. She bore a HIV positive son. He is 16 years today. In his early teen years, his health took the downward spiral after he failed to consistently take his ARV pills. Zimina na mesa tazungina mesi. Tazungina pepsa inapita na mnashimisha vitu kama iso tuna disagree. Unahana, tena na mpembeleza, tuna rudi, tuna... Anti-retroviral therapy works by suppressing the viral load in infected blood by blocking cell receptors, preventing the virus from attaching to healthy cells and multiplying. According to studies, the viral load can be suppressed to zero if the pills are taken consistently at strictly fixed intervals to maintain the chemical balance that inhibits the virus from replicating. Clarice works at the Nyahera Hospital in Kisumu West, and her patients, she says, reported inconsistencies in their timing. Another one told me that they depend on the sunset and the sunrise. No, that was me. That was really me. Because there's, at a point I used to depend on the sunrise and the sunset. And the days when the, it was misty and foggy, what happens to me, I just guess it's my time for taking ARVs and I take. And it doesn't work like that. And this past July, inspired by her own suppression of the viral load to undetectable levels, Tina started distributing alarm wristwatches to adolescent users of ARVs. Her goal is to suppress the viral load in the group that carries the bulk of the infections. If this adolescent who are HIV positive can suppress, then I tell you we are going to have uh, different figures in terms of, of the adolescent who are HIV positive. Because um, undetectable equals to, uh, you equals to you. If you're undetectable, it's very difficult for you to infect someone else. And though the data released this year indicates that the rate of HIV infections has gone down by 30%, for residents residing within the informal sectors of Kisumu, where stigmatization still continues to cut deep, the conversation needs to move from HIV prevalence to ARV adherence. Laura Oteno, Citizen TV, 